dear students once again welcome to this youtube channel this is kesh kumar assistant professor in english so in today's english literature class we will complete our poem stopping my words on a snowy evening by american poet robert frost so in our previous video we have discussed about the introduction to the poet and about the poem so now we will complete the remaining poem stopping my words on a snowy evening so we have discussed that this poem was published in robert frost's volume new hampshire in 1923 and uh, there is a speaker the speaker is in the forest with his horse and uh, the speaker is fascinated with the natural beauty with the beauty of that forest and compared to see he wants to stay to see the snow fall in the forest but uh, he has many works to do he wants to stay here to enjoy the beauty of this lovely wood woods but uh, he has many works to do and he will have to cross many more miles so now part second stopping by woods on a snowy evening by robert frost so the speaker is alone in the forest and he is attracted to this natural world okay the speaker is alone with his uh, horse in the forest and he is attracted to this natural world so robert frost depicts the natural world as a lovely and overwhelming world so robert frost presents a very a beautiful and charming natural scene and the woods are very lovely and overwhelming so this natural world is considered as a lovely and overwhelming world by robert frost the poem presents the natural world as distinctly separate from human society so you know that natural world is distinctly is totally separate from human society and uh, in robert frost poem we see the beautiful and charming natural scenes of countryside or rural areas in america next we see the complete lack of civilization in the forest because in the forest we see only nature we see only natural objects trees birds and we can feel only wind we can hear the sound of wind we can hear the sound of snow fall fall uh, snow falling so all these things are natural object and in the forest the complete lack of civilization and emphasizes the distance between society and nature so there is a wide difference there is a wide distance and wide difference between society and nature there are no farm houses nearby and the speaker sees that in the forest there are no farm houses nearby where he can um, stay and he wants to stay here to enjoy the beauty 
but now he will have to go uh, to his destination to his home at the same time the woods are lovely and the speaker is tempted to stay a while the speaker is tempted to stay a while because the woods are very lovely so here the poet wants to convey a message through this example that the woods are lovely it means there are so many things in the world are very lovely and every person wants to stay here but you know that uh, ev every human being is mortal not immortal they here as a so for a short time and after uh, living their life after playing their role they go away from this world so we see speakers particular interest in the solitude that the woods are often so in the poem we see that uh, the speaker um, has a interest in, in the solitude interest in solitude in the nature that provides nature and the woods offer and the woods offer next but he knows certain responsibilities of the society but he knows certain responsibilities of the society that's why he can't stay here and he can to enjoy the natural scene so the speaker would like to stay there longer and wants to was the falling snow but various responsibilities prevent them prevent him so the speaker wants to stay they are in the forest longer but uh, and wants to walk the falling snow wants to watch this natural beauty but uh, he has various responsibilities and these responsibilities prevent him to stay here so next so we find the tension between responsibility and desire in the final stanza the responsibility of the human being and the desire of the human being so we all human being wants to um, take some kind of enjoyment in this world but so it it's desire but we have some kind of social responsibility some kind of responsibility that's why we can't enjoy our desire so we find the tension between responsibility and desire in the final stanza and this stanza is very famous and very interesting stanza and this stanza is regarded one of the most significant stanzas in english literature the woods are lovely dark and deep but i have many promises to keep and miles to go before i sleep and miles to go before i sleep okay so my dear students this is your remaining uh, poem part 2 stopping my woods on a snowy evening by robert frost so thank you so much and you must watch both videos on taking the whole thing in your mind so if you want to learn the whole thing 
of this poem. Watch these two videos from opening to the end. So thank you so much guys.